marry him and scatter the water. I don't know how she's gonna date a guy in the Coast Guard. You know, we all get scared out there. I'm not afraid of the water, Bernie. It scares me at night, that's all. You can't see what's underneath. Just more water. Well, if you were to confuse Disney's new uh, Coast Guard rescue picture, The Finest Hours, uh, with another movie of a few years ago called The Perfect Storm that starred George Clooney, you might be right. This movie also takes place just off Massachusetts and is set in 1952, the true story of an amazing Coast Guard rescue mission when an oil tanker is in great distress and actually breaks in half there in the high seas in the middle of a terrible nor'easter. The uh, commander, the local commander, Eric Banna, uh, sends out a 36-foot boat manned by four brave, ordinary young men on the Coast Guard uh, to try and rescue the crew members of this stranded tanker. This is the story here, and it veers back and forth between what's going on on that tanker, led by Casey Affleck, uh, who's trying to keep everything together there. I repeat, conditions hazardous. We got an 18 foot fracture in our home. How do you want us to proceed, over? And then what's going on on this boat against all odds, giant waves. Chris Pine plays Bernie Weber, the leader of the mission, and he has just gotten engaged uh, to his girlfriend, Holiday Granger. She is totally against him going on this. So there is that bit of a backstory going on with him. But the main uh, attraction here are the high seas and the uh, special effects team has done an amazing job in guiding this boat to try to get to that tanker. The movie is actually in 3D, so the water comes right at you. That's the way to see this film. It's directed by Craig Gillespie, and he does a good job of making a very solid action movie that also is highly patriotic and really shows what ordinary men can do in extraordinary circumstances. Uh, I actually really enjoyed The Finest Hours. I think it's a fine uh, picture of this type of movie and terrific filmmaking craft on display here. I say, go.